Hello everybody and welcome back to Multiplayer Farming Simulator 17. So this is Cobra Park Farm, which I'm sure you'll already know because it's just such a memorable and easy to recognise map. It's fantastic. Um, so yeah, we're all very busy here on the Dagawin Fun For All server, which is actually the fan-made server, but it's really professionally run. It's uh, always very enjoyable to be here. Now we have just finished this field here, I wasn't doing a great deal to it, um, in fact I joined just at the end of it, I've taken one load to the BGA. Um, the, the next job was actually to continue into field number 4 and then to field number 1, but I think the plan is now to empty the silage pit over at the yard, at the cow farm, I think it's Chantry Farm, since everything is full, even the BGA is full, so it's time to do a bit of carting. Right, so I'm not too sure if this one over here is available, but it's obviously much larger um, so yeah I reckon we are carting okay it looks like I can actually take this that's good uh, we might be taking a passenger of Wilson Agri 98 we'll see uh, but yeah it's just so much larger you can get much more in. Are you coming? I uh, don't know maybe maybe we're off to Chantry Farm okay um, it'll be tomorrow that it's uploaded. There we go, we took Wilson Agri for a very long drive there. So, uh, that's very bright, I can't see much. What's doing that then? The sunset, it must be. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, yes, over to Chantry Farm. Let's get some of the silage moved, because it it's all fermented but it's just taking up way too much space. So it is time to get it moved and hopefully sold. And we can't see exactly how much money there is in the server uh, because we're not an admin, but I think we can see if there's an admin in. I, I, yeah, there is an admin in. Yeah, this one here, uh, Godfather. 749, so it's going very well. It might have been the following tractor actually. Uh, which was causing the brightness in the windscreen. I'm not too sure if it was. Ah, so tight. So tight. There we go. I'm guessing there's going to be a bit of a queue here. We've got plenty of sheep. Loads of cows. It's all set up well. I think we can uh, check and see exactly how well they actually are doing. Uh, some people are wondering if it is really me, but I have confirmed it, so yes, it's definitely me. Well, obviously it is because you're watching the video, but for the people in the server, it might be a bit confusing, but I have confirmed it with the two admins, uh, which I've spoken to. So, yep, all is good. Yeah, we can see. That's good. Because I'm not usually the player. I'm usually the admin on the server, so I, I, I don't really know what you do and don't see uh, when you're not an admin. But that is all looking fantastic. Right, let's join the queue. Are we doing it with the conveyor belt? I assume so. Yes, we are. And there is Web1. That's another admin. In fact, it's the owner. As it quite rightly says there. <laughs> I think I'm in the way, you know. Um, let's just stay back for a minute. Uh, maybe I could go... Over here. If I just drive into here, that might be the best angle. Well, if it doesn't work, I can always uh, change the angle that we're going to park at. Oh, they've got a massive new Holland just here. T9565. Very nice. Uh, is that the best angle? I suppose it is, because they have got the conveyor bus in the way, because uh, that one is uh, loading a secondary trailer. I reckon it's the John Deere which has those really bright blue lights, it is, isn't it? Or the LED. Guess it must be. Um, yeah, so I think this is almost full already. That's the good thing about the silage fork, it's got a 10,000 litre capacity, I think. Um, so it, yeah, it's vast. We should still be able to see in the store. Wheel loaders, uh, silage fork, yeah, 10,000 litre capacity. Very impressive.
That must be number four. Uh, so it should only be one more, and then I, I guess a little bit more, because it never actually fills it to 100% in the grab. We're going to struggle to get out of there. I think Toby realised. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's, like, it's going to be like 97%, I would have thought. Yeah, 99%. We'll just put the slightest bit in there, because it, it all helps, doesn't it? It's like, um, what's it going to be about? 81, yeah, about 81 litres, I think. Yeah, it must be. Okay, so it looks like we are skipping the night. There we go. I put some lights on anyway. And we will try and get out of here. I think Wilson Agri is going to be moving anyway, because that looked quite full. Um, if I back out through here, it's all very busy. Um, hmm. I'll just wait and see what Toby's up to. We're rocking a bit. There we go. That should be alright. Yeah, I should be able to make it around the corner. Okay. To the BGA. I'm not entirely sure how we're going to sell it at this stage, but I'm guessing there is going to be a conveyor belt. I've just realised exactly what it is in here. The interior light is on. Oh, that's a sign. Oops. Um, no, that was wrong. Somehow, it's possible to turn the interior light off. Um, problem is, I don't know how. No idea. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. I always thought you had to click on it, but I can't see anything. Oh, here is uh, Smitty. Just uh, putting a nice dent in the crash barrier there. Yeah, we're all hoping... Oh, I'm doing the same thing. We're all hoping for an improved admin system in 19, so hopefully it is. We'll have to wait and see, but uh, yeah, I, I think it would be crazy not to have improved it, because it is pretty terrible, actually, in 17, the admin system. And also, the synchronising screen is uh, probably the only game, actually, which I'm aware of having that. I think only, only Farming Simulator actually takes you sort of out the game to allow somebody to join. So it's fantastic that the multiplayer is in, but uh, with an improved admin system and with the elimination of that, it would be absolutely fantastic. If it was as seamless as Euro Truck Simulator 2, the multiplayer, despite it only really being a mod, a very amazing mod at that, um, yeah, it's um, it, needs to, it needs to match it, definitely. Because the synchronising can be quite painful. Right, so that has been covered over when I was last here at the beginning of the... Well, actually, before the video, I have already tipped a load here of chaff. That was uh, still being loaded up, but that's now been covered over. So I'm guessing that one is being tipped over there. So we'll tip over here, I suppose. Uh, there's a nice truck just there, actually. I might use that. That's quite nice. I, I don't know if it's going to work if I put this here. Let's just see. Looks like it is going to. I can't put too much down, though, because otherwise it's going to make a right mess. It was spread beyond the uh, pickup point. Um, that seems to have stopped. Is it not close enough? I think it's not close enough. That's the thing about conveyor belts. They're absolutely fantastic, but you've got to make sure they are perfect. Is it switched off? Oh, doesn't seem to be attached. Just got to rearrange just slightly. Don't want to mess it up for everybody. Uh, that seems to be going in. There we go. That's much better. And we'll just wait here until it's processed that. Almost processed. It's actually outside of its uh, pickup zone. So we'll just top that up. Hopefully all of it, actually. We should be able to get all of that in there. Hope so. Perfect. Right. We, we're kind of blocked in by our own pile. But it really shouldn't take too long to uh, disappear. And somebody is getting quite a, a good bit of money here. Let's just go on to the player page. Yep, we've got three admins in, actually. Uh, we've got um, Godfather, Web1, and Smitty, 1050. 
all with the same amount of money. Very impressive. That's what you need. You need three admins in. That keeps the server running very fluidly. Let's go back for another load. I don't know why the class is rocking a bit, because I've never actually experienced that problem before, I don't think. Um, it's a tractor I've used quite a bit. Maybe the trailer is just too big for it. Not too sure. Anyway, load number two. Here it comes. If I'm not mistaken, yep, there is a tractor just coming out of here. So I'm going to pull over. And let it go since it is the uh, oncoming heavy tractor. Full load. Uh, so it doesn't really want to be stopping on the hill. Hopefully that's enough space for what left there. Hopefully it is. Yep, it's good. Um, right. So I think everybody is mostly over at the BGA. There may be one tractor just down here. Jonas is down here as well. Uh, I should really not get in the way. Oh, whoa, that's why you look behind you when you're reversing. <laughs> just, uh, that was my fault. Um, yeah, just crashed straight into the John Deere. Oh, now I've crashed into the police uh, There we go, right. I'm going to park back in here. It seems to be a good place to go. Uh, and we need to do it quite cunningly as well, so there's actually space for two of us to be loaded up. As there are two wheel loaders, although we might be doing the same trailer at the same time, which is fair enough. Uh, this one's being done here, and Ross Nagri did have a trailer. It seems to be over there. So, yeah, clearly, still very full. Um, in fact, yeah, still over a million litres. So not much chance of getting this cleared out today. It would be good to actually move on to a bit more silaging. I don't know if they're going to be. They could be. But yeah, obviously the priority at the moment is just to clear this out quite a bit. Because it is uh, it, it's quite full. And that bit of the last load. Perfect. Right, I'm going to get out of the way. Because uh, I know the John Deere, which is... Oh, it was there. I thought it wanted to get into place, but... Yeah, might be picking up another trailer, yes. Okay, so let me just rearrange so that I'm not in the way. And we're back out of here. That belt is moving. Okay, looks like we're going for a bit of a swap over. We're going to jump into the uh, 6R. Looks nice. And yeah, we've, have we got the interior lights on here too? Uh, no. I don't think I've used this tractor before, have I? I don't think so. Um, yes, I am going to do an unboxing actually of the uh, Collector's Edition. Sorry, I just completely stopped in the middle of the uh, farm entrance. Yeah, I've got it on order. I've got it on order with Amazon, so uh, hopefully a few days after release I'll have that uh, published, that video. Unboxing the uh, Collector's Edition. Right, this, the class did seem a bit more powerful, but this might be a heavier trailer. Although I think it is the same trailer. Okay, we should have indicators too. Oh yeah, even lights up on the dashboard. Always good. Seems like a nice tractor. Yeah, I could stay in here for a while. Got a sunroof and everything. I'm going a bit slow. I'm starting to get a bit of a traffic jam behind me, as you can see in the mirror. JC Chaos, I think it is. Chaos 9. Ooh, we've got a uh, drill just working in the field here. I'm not sure if anybody's in it. But yep, yeah, it's all set up. Okay, so I don't know if they've got rid of the belts. I did see a few people talking about the uh, the belt setup. Um, yeah, unless they're talking about the other farm, I'm not too sure. Wilson Agri, just there. Yeah, it looks like everybody's going to be tipping at once. It's all very busy around here. Uh, you would have thought it'd be more spaced out, actually, because of the, uh, the time it takes to fill at the other end. Anyway, let me just try and establish where the best place is to unload. Uh, clearly there is somebody... Oh, actually no, the class is just doing a dance on its own, there's, there's nobody there. Unless Wilson Agri is doing it, yeah. 
possibly. Uh, I'm just going to wait in the queue. Jonas is about to go by the look of it. <laughs> yeah, the class, <laughs> the class for some really weird reason is uh, is rocking. Yeah, it's really rocking over there. Oh, I've been uh, punched in the nose. Well, the tractor has anyway. Right, um, I don't know where that's going to, but I'm going to try and tip here. I, I really should go in the furthest away point, which is actually over there, but that conveyor belt doesn't seem to be picking anything up. Uh, it needs to be just changed a little bit, just so it does actually pick things up. I'm not in the way, am I? I hope not. Right, let's just unload and we'll get out of the way as quickly as possible. Uh, please, belt, please, please don't you take it. It doesn't seem to be taking it, so it looks like we do have to have a bit of work done over here. Is it even switched on? Should be. Okay. I'll be a second. Okay, so I've just managed to move the other conveyor belt over there. I want to put this on the front of it, just so it can pick it all up. Um, yeah, so it should... It should be able to do it. <laughs> it's we kind of a race, the uh, conveyor belt extension race. <laughs> Just the uh, the pieces which actually pick the, uh, the the material off the ground. How amusing! Right, I want to attach this to that main conveyor belt. If I can do. JC chaos over there is actually wait. It is chaos, isn't it? Chaos, yeah. Waiting. So he wants me to uh, just passenger back to the other farm. Although I need to take the other tractor, but not to worry. Doesn't matter. Um, yeah, it's always fun to passenger. There we go. That, that's going to be good enough. If I just hopefully attach it from here, um, yeah, it probably needs to be lowered down a bit. Right, so if we hire that hitch just there, and then if we attempt to put it closer, like over here, <laughs> it should work. Uh, it's a little bit too far away, but it might attach. Okay, it might be easier just to adjust this one then. There we go. Good. Okay, so yeah, we're in the case option. We're a passenger. Is the driver. And yeah, I lost connection. I think some other players did too. But not to worry. The server didn't crash, I don't think. It's just, yeah. Bizarrely, a couple of the players just... Lost connection to the server. I suppose those things happen. Anyway, yeah, because we're going back in this tractor and we don't have our tractor, we're going to have to find a different job or a different machine uh, to pick up, possibly a wheel loader. Failing that, if there's another tractor and trailer over there, we can use that instead. Oncoming traffic. Ooh, that was close. Didn't seem too bothered. He handled it well. So here we are back at Chantry Farm. I'm guessing there's going to be quite a few players here. In fact, how many people are there in the server? There must be quite a few. Yes, it must be very close to full. Impressive. Right, uh, so we've been brought back in the Dagomin taxi service, as it's been called, I've noticed. Uh, they're ready. <laughs> they're ready to load up. Oh, I've, I've fallen. I've fallen through the map. That didn't go to plan. That must be... Yep, that's the other farm. If I just keep tabbing through until we get to a machine in the right location. There we go. Is anybody using this tractor? Probably not. The thing is, I can't really use it because I'm going to get in the way of the uh, wheel loaders. So, yeah, I, I reckon it's just here to uh, clean out the cows or something. I wonder if there's another bigger tractor nearby because there is actually another trailer. Okay, there is this. It seems to be just parked up. I wonder if it's here for feed for the cows in reserve. I'll just ask. I want to make sure that I don't go and sell the wrong stuff. We're off. It's off to the BGA. Um, only 89 litres of fuel left. Well, that should be alright. It's actually got a really big capacity. 48,000 litres. Oh, I can tell. It's not braking too well. And yeah, that was, uh, that was dangerous. Right, so we're almost here, and we are ready to unload. So, yeah, it's been an absolute pleasure being on the server. 
Uh, I suppose my timing wasn't perfect because it would have been even better to do a bit of silage, uh, the actual harvesting of the silage, um, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. We're doing plenty of carting. Uh, so if there is another opportunity before the release of FS19, we'll try and do a bit of uh, variety. But one thing's for sure, doing this is certainly helping out the server. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. But if I can head to a conveyor belt which is currently accepting fermented silage, then we can move things along a bit. That one there is working, so when... Uh, Kesty has finished, we'll reverse into there. Right, I'm ready. This is going to be quite a bit. I suppose in a way it's better having uh, this sort of setup because it's not as long and the capacity is actually greater than the trailers so that it's going to be much easier to uh, navigate through the yard at the other end where it's much tighter, where there's loads of people right, that should tip ok, as close to that conveyor belt as possible, I think that is yeah, it's as far back as we can go the wheel is just spinning not very fast, but it is still spinning so, yeah those conveyor belts have got their work cut out we're done fantastic, it's another 48,000 litres to top up the conveyors. So, let's go. Let's go and get another one of these loads and that'll probably be the final one. But they've got a long way to go. The driller's moved, so I'm, I'm guessing somebody's in that. In fact, I think it's finished. I'm going a bit too fast for these bends. Hopefully I can control it. Hopefully there's nobody coming around the other way. That would be awful. No. Good. <laughs> it would be just my luck if somebody was right there. There's Cameron. Doing some cultivating. There's some big machinery on here. It's all very good though. It's so nice to be back on the Cobra Park farm map. In fact, this really is the last opportunity. I would have thought before FS19 um, because uh, chance I won't be playing at least on my channel I won't be playing FS17 again um, because yeah 19 will take priority but I was, I'll was i definitely be back on uh, 17 for this map unless it comes to 19 that would be amazing surely though with the popularity of it, it will do I can't say, I don't know but uh, I suppose, yeah, the modders have got to uh, figure out exactly how to convert the maps to 19, because I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be much more difficult um, due to the new systems which are involved. Quite a queue. Um, if Philip has finished, then, yeah, it's not going to take too long. Yeah, that's good. So we'll keep over to the side here. And then that one shouldn't take too long to fill at all. No doubt somebody else is going to appear behind us. In fact, where is the nearest tractor? Um, on the way, Jonas is on the way so it's not going to take too long I don't know if we're doing one loader per vehicle I don't know I guess so I just move back a bit just to uh, give Kest a bit more space if he wants to go back a bit further um, but yeah that seems to be alright. How much is left? It really has gone down. We've moved another 500,000 litres. Wow. Uh, so yeah, it's actually going down at a rapid rate. So, our one is full. Let's go and take it over to the BGA. And then I think we're going to finish it there. 48,000 litres. Um, yeah. I saw while I was doing that very quick time lapse that a few of the players were talking about Naveswell Farm not making it to 17. It is a shame. It really is. It, it was a very good map in 15. You never know. It might be in 19. That would be 
just amazing, wouldn't it? It'd be so good. Now to decide the best place to unload. Uh, I would have thought the same ones before. Oh, wow, that disappeared quickly. Um, yeah, I think so. Oh, signs clearing that pile. So if we keep filling up this pile, it's still quite full. Um, but it would appear to be the best one, I suppose. Unless that one is going to be tips into that one, that one as well. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I might just put it in. Yeah, put it in here. I was going to say I put it in between, but then again, that's quite a lot for the wheel loads to move. Plus, we have this next load coming in as well, so uh, I think it is best if I just go here. So, I'm going to put this just neatly to one side. There is actually a shed over here, but it might be full. Uh, there is space here, though. And yeah, we're going to finish. So I just want to say thank you so much to the admins of the server, the owner, and also the players. The players have been fantastic. Um, yeah, it's always very enjoyable to play on the server. Very well run. So thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.